Well, good day, tubes. Finally, I'm back in the shop. I got all of the uh, the uh, inside renovations done to the house up to this point. More to come, but that's okay. And this is my first 2014 repair video. So uh, let's just get you caught up with what's going on, and we will get this uh, rototiller fixed. So come with me. All right, here we have what they say is a Craftsman 3.5 horsepower. It is a Tecumseh motor. I can tell by the carburetor right there. You can see the bowl. These are a little more rare. Most of these uh, rototillers were made by Briggs. It's a nice little rototiller. And uh, I got a hunch it's been sitting for a long time that the carburetor is clogged. So I did check the oil. For now, it, oops, pardon me. For now, it's full. Uh, that'll be good enough to get it running, and then we'll do an oil change. And uh, so the first thing we'll do is uh, check to see if we have a spark. I'll be right back. So don't worry. Hi guys, we're going to take the spark plug out. And one way to check for a spark is to take an old spark plug and make the gap three or four times bigger. Stick it in series with the, with the spark plug wire and ground the uh, spark plug out and see if you get a spark right there. But that can get really exciting when your fingers get grounded. So I've got just a very inexpensive spark plug detector. See the spark. Yeehaw! Our next little uh, procedure will be to undo this gas line right there uh, because I want to take the carburetor off and clean it. I think it's been sitting for a long time. Uh, and when we do that, we'll check and see what the gas in the tank looks like dripping out of this hose. And right after we check the gas in the tank, I will put a clamp on the gas line coming out of the tank right there, just like that. So let's take the gas line off. I'm sorry I'm in the way. Okay. So there we have. The gas looks a bit old. It looks like about a year old. So we'll change that gas out. Just for fun. Tubes will show you what new gas looks like. So there we have new gas, and there we have old ga uh, one year old gas. And then wait till you see, I don't know yet, I haven't taken it apart, but wait till you see what the gas looks like in the carburetor. And uh, we're going to just take the carburetor off now. I'm not going to film the whole thing, but it's a 7 sixteenths wrench and it looks like it's almost ready to come off by hand here so I'll have that off and we'll have another look at the carburetor <coughs> okay guys this carburetor is just about ready to come off there's a nut right there that's gonna fall down there it goes and we're going to take that carburetor off. I'll bring it over here to my metal bin. There's the, pardon me, there's the two bolts that came off from the carburetor. We'll put those there. And as I disassemble, I put things in a line like this. So I know how to put it back together. I'll take it apart this way. 
and then I'll put it back together the other way. I know a lot of it's elementary, but still it helps. This is the air cleaner. I took that off without you guys seeing that. And now we're going to have a look inside the carburetor to see how dirty that gas is. So this is the high speed control and carburetor retention nut. This is usually what clogs in an engine. Oh yeah. And look at that, it's got the same gas in it that you saw coming from the tank. So now we are going to just clean, the bowl doesn't look too bad, it looks pretty clean. So now we're going to take the carburetor apart. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's the, there's the seal. <clears throat> Looking for pliers. There's the needle, the uh, hinge. The float. There's no gas in it. I shook it. And there's the seat. And it actually doesn't look too bad. The needle looks clean. And the seat, if you can see in there, looks pretty good. The seat is right inside there. It's a little white rubber thing. And as it wasn't leaking gas, I'm suspecting that the seat is okay. But I'm just going to clean everything up now with some carburetor cleaner. And we'll, we will uh, go to step two, which is reassembly. I think... Oh. Hey, hey, hey. What, what mostly has happened, I think, has happened is this little hole right there. Do you see that little hole? And that extra teeny weeny schmeeny hole is plugged. So what we'll do... Now we won't even know if this top hole is plugged because it's so small. We'll stick that in there like that. That might not even fit in there. Oh, there we go. Well, we'll take the needle out. And then we'll clean this on the. We'll clean that on the grinder just lightly. And that might have been plugged or not. We have no idea. And this other bigger one. I'll just run a piece of wire in there and then a little larger piece of wire. It's impossible to say whether that was plugged or not, but I bet you it was. That's why it wouldn't start. <coughs> okay, tubes, I'm going to do this a little further away because this is how I ruined my last camera. See any spray coming through that one? Yep, there's spray. And of course, that wind blows that right back into the camera. Isn't that awful? So, anyway, I'm going to uh, squirt some gas in there, and it should come out the white hose. That's the inlet where the gas comes in. Good. You just stick it up in there and turn it around. We're not getting any crud out of there. Now I'll give it a shot with the carb cleaner. So now I'm going to put this back exactly the same way I had it. Hi, we're back reassembling. So now we're going to stick this uh, idle control circuit uh, jet. There, it's tight. No, just tight. Don't have to tighten it like you're tightening a screw. And, and these are set a half to three quarters out. So that's a half and three quarters and then tie it back a tiny bit because it's an old carburetor. Then we lay the needle and seat down. I'm sorry. Yeah, I gotta remember you're here. Lay the needle and seat in like that. Oh, 
hope you can see. I gotta hold my lips just right here to get this. Stick my tongue out one side of my mouth. Okay. There we are. And with my Tecumseh tool, the old Tecumseh 670377 tool, that sets the height for the float. And that looks just absolutely perfect. I hope you can see that. I'm going to put the I'm going to put the same I'm surprised at the quality of that seal. That's pretty, pretty good. It's almost like this engine hasn't been used very much or whatever. I'll put this back on like that. This holds the seat the uh, carburetor bolt on like that. Tighten it up with a 716th wrench. I've moved the governor control to the other hole. It was in this hole here. Now I've moved it to that hole. Okay, guys. I have remounted the carburetor. Very simple job. A uh, 716th bolt and a 716th nut on this side. Okay guys, I checked the configuration of the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the governor linkage and it's supposed to be in the first hole closest to the carburetor and the, the second hole are almost in the center of the tang. We'll call it the tang. And now, I'm just going to uh, attach the, uh, what do you call it, the gas line. Oh my gosh hard to do with the camera so la 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 and uh, we're real close to getting it started up we've got the spark plug in and tightened and cleaned we've got the uh, rewind repaired with a skinnier rope um, throttle cables reconnected bolts around the shroud are all connected we still have the plug on the gas line and I just have to connect up the gas line and we'll start it up be right back here's my little primer bottle I made I'm just going to give the carburetor a little shot. We'll set you up to see if you can see. Yep, there we go. Well, it sure runs good, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Chief. So let's do a little recap. The somebody was playing with this because the uh, what do you call it? The governor linkage was in this hole and in that hole, and now it really, really runs great. Um, the carburetor was plugged with the uh, power jet having plugs in one of the two holes. Let me think. The gas was old and dirty, so I changed the gas in the tank. And then, because the, the rewind wasn't retrieving all the way, I put a smaller rope on it. This is a very, very thick rope, and I put a smaller 4.5, 4.5, they call that. Anything else? Now I just have to change the oil in her, and uh, she's ready to go.